taking me all day. Sunday, I'm going my way to church. And the car ran to light and used the car and the car started spinning. And all that got was a broken neck. And I know it could have been no bad right. thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you, praise God. And you know, praise God, we paid the cash, we gave, praise God. It's a lot of things that we could have had, praise God, but we gave to God, praise the Lord. We could have been living over there, praise God, hundred and drill one time, praise God. But you know, we chose to give it to God, praise the Lord Jesus. Let me tell you, praise the Lord, God will give it back, praise the Lord. You may not give it to God, praise God. He'll get it back in a hospital bill. He'll get it back in a house. He'll get it back, praise God. Just pulled out of nowhere. 
And you know, when I was in the car, I just saw myself just going straight into the main car. How fast we were going, he was, I was going forward, he was going sideways, like, and I just saw, saw myself just going to go straight into the car. But I know the Lord was there. I think the Lord was sharing the check mine. Yeah, yeah. And then when he saw me down there, get ready to run into his, into his door side of the door, he pulled on up. And then when he saw down there, get ready to run into his back end, he pulled on up. And I thank God that I just turned and just hit on break. Yeah. You know, I stopped and I thanked the Lord. I know what you I said, you know, Jesus said, that's so true. A lamp unto the devil. Yeah. Most of God's people in heart for the rest of in the graveyard. Yeah. So I told the Lord, you know, he should protect my son. Then he let my son pass, you know, pass on to the eighth grade. And, and, he, and he ain't really been, you know, doing like he's supposed to do in school, but I always taught him to pray. And he told me, he said he had a check to take. He said, Mom, he said, I prayed. He said, I talked to the Lord. He said, I held on to the prop pop. He said, hey, Jesus, let me pass. He said, do you think I passed or not? I said, wait well, then I said, if you pray, just have faith. And you know, somehow, some way, the Lord let him pass. He passed on his chest. So he went on, you know, the Lord is good to us, and I thank the Lord, you know, for being good to me, praise God. Even on my job, praise God, I thank the Lord for giving me strength, not to care, praise God, or a person like that. Think about me, he really helped me since I was the day. You know, I, I thank the Lord, I have some of them pass out on to speak to me, praise God, and some of them, when they do see me, they'll laugh at me. You know, but I thank the Lord, you know, because the Bible says, tell them all joy, you know. And you know, I thank the Lord for giving me that strength that, we when some of them laugh, and I know they ain't got no reason to be laughing, and I, I thank God for this one thing. I know when the Bible says now they be re, they be laughing, but time gonna become we gonna be joyful, then they gonna be you know uh in thought well the scripture saying, but you know I thank Lord for giving that strength that I don't you know confront them when they laugh at me. I told Brother Brass it's all right with me. I said if a person speaks don't you know, don't do it no more. You know, the Lord, I really done something for me on my job. And then one time, the supervisor was getting a whole lot of trouble. He probably been in church. And this man, praise the Lord, I tell you, the thing I went through with him hurt me so bad. And sometimes he dragged me home my car, began to cry. And for no reason, he would just pick on me. Now, he's supposed to be, you know, in a preacher or something. And he would just pick on me, and he would try to turn everybody against me. He would go to the manager on me. He did everything he could to bring me down or uh, to make me just quit and everything. I don't care what he did. He'll go and tell him if I'm not breaking your ass, he was going to break. I mean, he did everything he could to tie me down. But I thank God it didn't work. You know, I had brother off and pray with my brother off. Tell brother off about it. Don't you know that brother, that young man, don't you know he became one of my friends now? I tell you, he said something for me now. He said something for me, and I thank God. But as you know, because I know prayer changed that. It really changed that. I said, Lord, let him go on and bother somebody else. And I said, no. I said, I don't want him to put nobody else through what right. he put me through. I thought we want to see nobody go through with that, you know, right. and young man put me through. But I thank God for touching his heart and his spirit, you know, that now it is just peace. And thank Lord for that. I know God answered the prayer. You all pray my spirit to the Lord. Amen. Amen.
praise God. Appreciate them to the test of Appreciate them being obedient. You know, I call and I always talk to them, praise God. And you know, I'm telling them, my husband, that she definitely got a love for God, praise God. She, but y'all always you know, tell me about the Lord, the Lord showing her, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all be praying for my sister, that my sister, praise the Lord. God, God, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, son. Praise the Lord. I see we ain't got no time, but I just have to praise the Lord because it's Father's Day. And I thank you for letting me see another father day. Because he didn't have to do it, but he did. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna testify on this going I'm gonna sing a little song right quick. And you know, that'll be my other testify. But Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. Come forward, praise the Lord. We're 
the Lord. Appreciate all the beautiful testimonies going to the glory of God. The sons of Mr. Faridi. Praise God. Thank the Lord for all the young people. So appreciate the choir. They done a great job. Praise God.
Who are going to be featured for a few minutes in the day of appreciation? I'd just like to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And um, may you have a minute more. I mean, we need to be called.
Jesus ain't got a form of fashion. Jesus, the Bible says they are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Is that what the Bible says? Thank you, Jesus. They are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we worry about what folks want to say. Sometimes we worry about how the church program is supposed to go. Thank God how the neighbors church up the street, how they conduct services. How the neighbors speak church across town, how they conduct services. Man, pure on the neighbors church across town. Hallelujah to the group. Pure on the neighbor church up the street. The Bible says when the saints begin to pray that the Lord has us. Hallelujah. See, I've been praying. Hallelujah. I've been praying. I heard another master back there say he's been praying. The Bible says when the saints begin to pray that the Lord have his way. The Lord is coming down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Forget about the mother churches. How they want to have a service. Let us have it the way they want to have it. Let us have it the way we want to have it. Yes, sir. 
stuff. Thank God, I don't want this stuff. This stuff ain't gonna bind me down. Thank God, this stuff ain't gonna weigh me down. But thank God, let me go in the spirit of the Lord. Let me go. Let me be free. Thank God to fight this battle. We gotta be free to serve God. We gotta be loose to worship the Lord. You can't worship God under a bunch of tradition. Let them labor you as 
crazy. It's all right. Jesus knows you ain't crazy. Sister Dias, it's better to obey God. You know, Saul did, went down there. Saul went down there. God told Saul, so this is kill everything down there, Saul. So don't let nuts, don't spare nothing, man. I want you to kill everything down there. And uh, Saul went down there. And he killed everything, but he spared the king, he spared the patties of the rams, the sheep, uh -huh. and stuff like this, you know. He spared all this good stuff. And the man of God says, Saul, so did you do what God told you? Yeah. Sam, the man, what does that mean for the sheep bleeding? I hear the sheep bleeding in my ears. I hear the voice of sheep. Please, the man, something ain't dead. I hear Man of God heard the sheep. He went around when he heard it. Man got God opened up his spiritual and he began to hear the sheep bleeding. Yeah. So all I hear sheep bleeding, man. You something you done did something you haven't been doing. Amen. Samuel. What's up? Well, I spare it to the people. I listen to the people. Yeah. And you can't listen to the church. Amen. You start to listen to other folks, you're going to miss God. Miss God. Yeah. 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 You start to listen to the man, you listen to God. You, you have people over you and teach, that's good. You listen to them. But when God tells you something, that's to listen to God. You know? yeah. And Samuel, yeah. Samuel, 13, this old prophet, God told this prophet, go down to this site, sit it. So man, don't come back. Don't eat bread. Don't drink wine. Don't go into nobody's house. You just go down there and don't come back the way you came. Right. And man, when you got down there and did what he's supposed to do, hit this old, old false prophet, old prophet. Went and told him, went and caught up with this real prophet God and told him, said, the Lord told me to tell you, come into my house. Sit down and eat. I know. Have water with him. Yeah. And that man of God listened to that old false prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, cause he said God said. Yeah, they made it. No, did it. God tell you something. I don't care who said it. You, you know God tell you something. Yeah, they made it. 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 Right. Man, you find faith in me and God and told you something, you got so much confidence in me, and I go tell you something different, thank God you're gonna never be stepped out. You better know God. You better hear what God tell you. I don't care how much you like, Brother Hawks, I don't care how much you like, Brother Freddie. If God tell you something, you better listen to God.
who are running behind them, Brother Fred. Thank God. We got too many of our church folks are running behind, sound like a little sheep running behind wolves. So the Ruth, because they don't know the voice of God. You can't get some folks out of the, out of the uh, places. Trying to find that old ankle bone. 
I'm a man. I ain't no sissy. I'm a man. I told my little boy, Red Boy, he used to call me, Mama. Mama. He told me, I was a my boo. I ain't no mama. Mama. He come down, I spent all the time with him. When I was nervous, he was like to play with him, play with him, cut him, and he just grown tasked him. He come in, he come in my bed, put him on bed. Mama, mama, mama. I found him, I said, like, Boy, let me pour it. I was like, boo, ain't no mama. <laughs> ain't no cop. He said, don't be sitting here. He said, oh, God, I'm a man. Well, you ain't got to be my servant. Amen. Amen. So, the man, I appreciate the Bible said, don't be Lord over God here. I appreciate people listening to the voice I speak to them because I'm trying to speak to them, God. Yeah. No, but you ain't my servant. Amen. And ain't your servant. Yeah, no. In the ministry, I am, but trying to please you. I'm not to please you. You're not to try to please me. Amen. Amen. It's according to God's word, and we all obligated according to God's word. Amen. And when one of us, is, I heard Sister Bruce say, she and her brother keeper, and you are exactly right. You are your brother keeper. We are obligated to be our brother and sister keepers in the Bible, in the scriptures, in the will of God. But not in flesh. to serve him in the flesh. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't want to be somebody in the flesh. You want that recognition in the flesh. So the Ruth, don't even believe in miracles. Don't even believe in healing. Don't believe in the divine working of God. Yet still they want somebody to give a recognition in the men of God. Give you, they give you recognition in the spirit. If they give you recognition because God answered your prayer. God raised their dying loved one up from the dead bed. Thank God God healed. Thank God. Then that's all that's in the spirit, brother. But thank God people don't believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and want recognition. Thank you, Jesus. Preach against miracles, preach against healing. Preaching against the Holy Ghost and still on recognition. Man, I'm hitting this thing right on the head. some other way. Now, there used to be a time, Brother Matthew, when I first started ministering, I don't care what Jesus had on his plan, he was going the way I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> I really messed it down, that's what the people going to get. And I don't care what Jesus thought about it. <laughs> Man, because I didn't have nothing else, and that's what they going to get. <laughs> and that's right, man. I don't care what you had me by there. You were getting what I had written down. That's the only way we was going. I was going. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, but now, man, through experience of God helping you, so yeah. Bruce, you learn to yield to the Spirit of God. Yeah. You learn to, learn to yield to the flow of the Spirit. You learn to yield yourself to the way the Spirit of God is moving. Yeah. It ain't something that you know. It's something you go as you go. Yeah. You don't know what God's going to do, so Bruce, you have to yield to it. Yeah. Some folks won't yield to this, because they think, well, I'm getting off my message, I'm getting right. off what I got down here, and I got this for the people. And... Amen. Get down. Amen. I'm trying to do it, brother John. Amen. I'm trying to recognize you. Somebody come to me, and the Lord says, he wants me to sit here. Word. Brother, California, Mr. Brown, you know, he said, word on this, 
Lord, and I thank you. Come on, give him a hand, praise for you.
name of Jesus Christ be her protect. God somewhere. Ooh. Save that household. Save the whole household. And I, I ask for this, Lord. I ask for this protection. I ask for this deliverance. I ask you to turn the tables on the enemy. Go on the lady in the car, Lord. I'm going to do it inside of the dark. Make them all it up. In the name of Jesus, I decree her protection. And I command her deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. The heart get wrecked. Get wrecked with fast. God, I'm asking you in Jesus' name to straighten it back out. Heal all that needs to be healed in here. We can use it properly. God, in Jesus' name, my, by your strength, Lord, we can heal. I believe that. There will be fighters, Lord, but I still believe it. In Jesus' name, let it be so. Let it be delivered, be restored. You got to restore his soul. God is mine. Lord, is Paul's attention to be focused upon to break every hole of Satan. Satan. God visited this man's temple with salvation. Jesus visited this man's temple with salvation. I was asking it to be so. In Jesus' name. It's going to be all right. Thank you, Lord. Open up the door, Lord. 